The Utah State Aggies have big expectations for the 2019 season. After one of the best seasons in program history, the Aggies didn't only lose most of their coaching staff, but nearly 75% of the offensive production from 2018. Gary Anderson was looking for some immediate help, and he didn't have to go far to find it. Tyler's going to throw the in cut. He's got his man, and Mariner will walk into the end zone. Touchdown! He didn't even have to leave the state. Wilson, fade up top. Whoa, what a catch! Anderson looked no further than his previous job at the University of Utah and added two grad transfers, C.O.C. Mariner and Caleb Rep. Adding experienced players is a big boost for the Aggies offense. That is key for uh, this football team, and that is key for Jordan. It's key for the offense to be able to function at a high level. Love, looking near side, end zone, caught! When you lose 75 plus percent of your production at the wide receiver position, it needs to, uh, you know, obviously step up and go. We've added numbers there, um, we've added new faces there, and that will be extremely competitive for those spots. Offensive coordinator Mike Sanford has had his eye on Mariner for a while and is excited for the chance to coach him. He's a young man that I recruited hard when I was at Boise State, uh, was actually going to commit to Boise State. Uh, I ended up leaving. He ended up getting offered by U the U late, and, uh, and now it comes full circle four and a half years later. Mariner has a chance to establish himself as a number one receiver. At Utah, he played in 36 games and caught 52 passes for 785 yards and four touchdowns. But one of his best attributes is the length he adds to the receiving core. We had to go out and, and find some other guys to help the group that we already have in place, which I think is really good. But really what we had to go do is find some length. Rep is another player that coaches are excited for. So it'll take off. He looks up, wide open, touchdown Utah. After starting at Utah as a tight end, he was moved to the defensive line before returning to the offensive side of the ball, a position he says he feels more comfortable playing. I always felt like I was more of a natural uh, offensive player just because like, that's just my body type and everything, and I just you know, I played it in high school. So I felt like it was a smooth transition. It was just more of a, a retracing of, a, of what I learned and then just picking up the offense and then like, just learning new stuff from Coach Miley. Tight end coach Frank Miley says Rep is handling the adjustment well and adds much needed explosiveness at the tight end position. It's a very explosive offense uh, that requires explosive players and uh, you know along with Carson I think Caleb also brings uh, that component to the game for us to have uh, you know four extra bodies on the field an extra body to add to the other three receivers as far as spreading the and stretching the field vertically so um, we're excited about him very long athletic uh, individual and so He'll assess, uh, assist with the rest of the tight ends that I have uh, and moving us in the same direction we've been doing. Both players only have one year of eligibility left, so they're expected to leave their mark in Logan. Yeah, man, I don't think they have a choice, you know, and so, uh, uh, you know, we're excited to have them here. And, you know, this offense is built to do that uh, and showcase those individuals. And so uh, we're, we're, we're excited that they've joined us. And so we don't, I, I don't foresee them, uh, I, don't, I don't see us uh, taking any steps backwards. I think uh, we brought some talented players in. They've added that. They're, they're great additions to, to what we've done offensively, and so uh, extremely excited to see where they go. They're joined by another former Ute who joined the program earlier this week, Nick Henninger. Henninger is a defensive end who joins the Aggies with two years of eligibility. His path to Logan wasn't easy. He had to take 21 credits during the summer semester to qualify as a grad transfer, but for the opportunity to reunite with his former defensive line coach, Gary Anderson, the decision was a no-brainer. I trust Coach Anderson and I tell people a lot that it's rare to find a coach in college that you really trust and Coach Anderson has proven to be one of the most trustworthy coaches in my college experience so that's the biggest reason for me coming up here. Defensive coordinator Justin Enna is excited for what Henninger adds to the defensive line. Nick's a great kid. That's one thing you're gonna find with him. Um, no off the field issues. He knows his assignments. He's gonna be a, he's, he's all go all the time. He's a mortar guy, and he's going to give us everything he's got. And so uh, when you got a guy that knows his assignments, just battling out there, um, you can rely on him. And uh, excited for him here and, and him being up here at Utah State, really exciting for us. The start of the season is around the corner, and the trio are excited for a chance to help their new team accomplish their goal of a conference championship. There's definitely going to be a fun time up here with those guys, especially just because like, I know what they're about. They're about their work and everything, so I know – 
they're going to bring another element to the team that can help help us in the win the Mountain West. From Maverick Stadium, I'm Zach Hicken, KSLSports.com.